Hey guys, it's that model collector here. Um, I am back with a review of the Imperial Star Destroyer. Um, I haven't really uploaded anything in quite a while. Uh, I've been busy with work and whatnot, but I've been collecting still. Um, and I've actually been collecting some Star Wars stuff recently with the recent movies that have come out. Kind of re invigorated my interest in Star Wars again, so I thought I'd pick some stuff up. And one of those stuff was this ship. Um, it is a Disney Store exclusive. It was 20 bucks, and yeah. So let's start off with the box. And here you go. Uh, this is the front of the box. As you can see, it has the Force Awakens style packaging with Kylo Ren at the bottom. And here it says Star Destroyer Deluxe Diecast Vehicle. Um, then it has the Disney Store logo right there. Then on the side, it has the Star Wars logo. Um, then on the back, it has a graphic of the Star Destroyer. Um, it has the name right there. And it has some information on the ship, which I'll bring it closer. If you want to pause the video and take a look at it, go right ahead. All right. Um, and then on this side, we have a graphic of the First Order Star Destroyer, uh, instead of the Empire Star Destroyer. <laughs> so, yeah, not sure why that's there, but yeah. Uh, and then on the bottom, it's just copyright information, warning, and whatnot. Nothing interesting there. But yeah, that's the box. So here we go. Um... Here's the ship. It is made of die cast, um, so there is some weight to it. Um, the only die cast, uh, it, it, the only die cast bits on the ship are this part, the top half, which goes around here. And this is all plastic here, all the way up to the bridge, and this part here. Uh, and I believe the bottom half is also die cast, um, and so are the engines here. So yeah, uh, here we go. So let's look at the details. Um, as you can see, there's some nice paneling all over the ship, and it's really cool. It's very well detailed, and I really like it. Um, and they've sculpted, it's really well sculpted on here. Um, like they've got the shield generator, they've got this thing up here, and the bridge area over here. Um, so yeah, and then on the bottom here they have... Uh, another shield generator. I got the hangar. Uh, that's where Princess Leia's ship was docked and boarded in an, at the beginning of A New Hope. Uh, and I believe this is another hangar area. And then we have some copyright information right there. And, yeah. Then, of course, here are the engines. Uh, you can see some of the nice details right there. Let me see if I can get closer. There we go. Let's see inside them. Uh, there we go. In the back. Uh not not as much detail on the back of the 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 neck piece right here. Um that's a little disappointing, but and even on the sides here. But for the most part, the entire ship is very well detailed and very well sculpted. Um now for the paint, it's pretty much a gray off-white color. Um uh pretty much all over the ship. And there is some yellow or green all over it. Um, sorry, I'm colorblind to those two colors, so it's very hard for me to tell the difference. Uh, anyway, so here we go. Uh, so you'll apologize if I call it green, if it's yellow, or if I call it yellow and it's actually green. So um, <laughs> Anyway, as you can see, the, the right here, it's all over the sides of the ship. closer here. It's really nice. Um, on the bottom here. Um, I only have two problems with the paint here. Uh, one, they did not paint the engines at all. Um, I would have preferred if they put a little bit of blue in them to make it look like it's actually in flight, but it's not so... I mean, it's not, not a big problem for me, but I would have preferred if they did that. And then the second thing is just these scorch marks all over the ship. 
I don't I don't have a huge problem with them, but I would have preferred this to be a clean Star Destroyer. It's more of a nitpick and a personal preference for me, but I think for most of you it probably won't bother you. But it, I mean, it does look like it's been in battle and whatnot. But I just you know I would have preferred a clean Star Destroyer. Um, but otherwise the paint is really good. I got some metallic silver there. Um. And yeah, it's uh, it's very well done. Um, let's see if we can get that Star Destroyer pose. Yeah, yeah um, I really love the ship. It's uh, very well detailed, and the paint apps are pretty pretty good. Um, and yeah, uh, oh, another problem I have with this is it does not come with a stand. Uh, so when I just you can only do that, or you can hang it on a string, put it on strings and hang it from the ceiling, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, but otherwise, this is a really great ship. I love the sculpt of it. I love the details, the paintwork on it. Uh, just really my only gripes are just no stand and I would have preferred if they didn't put the scorch marks on it, but I don't think that'll bother most collectors. Um, but yeah, for 20 bucks, I highly recommend this. Uh, so if you can find it, I'd recommend checking out uh, the Disney store, your local Disney store, see if they have them. When I went to mine, they had a bunch of these uh, and I just grabbed one or I would check online. They have them in stock online. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you like the video, like it down below, and if you really want to see more, uh, hit that subscribe button up there. All right, thank you very much, and have a nice day.